Hi, I'm Claire from Inspiratrix Yoga. This session today is all about bringing some life and some love to your middle. Whether you're just feeling sluggish today, or whether you ate too much, or whether you're feeling a bit inflamed in that area, this session is just about bringing some movement and bringing some love to that area. Props wise today, you will need something like a blanket or a cushion that you could fold up or roll up would be ideal. Let's get started. We'll do some lion's breath uh, to start connecting to Udiana, which is where you pull the belly back and up and in, and also to feel for moving out any toxic stuff you've got going on. Let's do this in Baddha Konasana with the soles of the feet together. You'll start with the fingertips behind the hips. Take a huge breath in, lengthening the spine. Then you exhale through the mouth, sticking the tongue out and roaring. <sighs> also bring the hands forward, pause without breathing, and then pull the belly back and up and in, slightly hollowing the back. Inhale, sit up tall, hands behind. Let the belly soften outwards. Exhale with the lion, come forward and do Udiana. <coughs> Pulling the belly back and up and in, connecting to your middle and starting to bring some movement there. Hands behind, huge breath in. Exhale through the mouth, stick your tongue out and make a noise. <coughs> Hold the breath, pull the belly back and up and in. Let's do one more. Use this to help move out any stuckness in that area. Huge breath in. Exhale, coming forward. <sighs> Pull the belly back and up and in. Let the shoulders be relaxed. All right, now relax the belly. Come into any seated position and come into your normal yoga breathing. So deep breaths in and out through the nose. Using Ujjayi breath, if you know Ujjayi breath and that works as a tool for you. If you don't know Ujjayi breath, I'll put a link uh, that you can click on right up in the corner. Let's do a moving side bend. Take your right hand down onto the floor. Inhale, lift left hand up. Exhale, left hand down to the floor. Inhale, lift the same hand up, leaning to the side. Exhale, coming back down. Do two more going to the same side, noticing how you're stretching the side of the waist. Breathing in a way that brings some love to your belly. Change your legs over the other way we'll do four the other side. So left hand on the floor now, inhale, right hand up, exhale, hand comes down. It's three more, connecting to your middle in this simple movement. twist. Have your right leg straight on the floor and your left leg bent. Inhale and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale and twist to your left. Take the left hand behind you on the floor. Now with this arm you could either hold on to the knee with the hand or just brace it against the leg like that or maybe hook the elbow over. Inhale, lift up the chest and lift up the crown of your head. Make space for your belly. Exhale at ease around into this twist. Through this whole practice, keep sending love and your breath to your middle. helping to bring warmth and circulation to that area.
Turn back towards the other side and change the legs over the other way. Inhale, sit tall before twisting. Lift the whole rib, rib cage up so there's space for your abdomen. Also take your left hand up. Exhale and twist to your right. Either hook the elbow over or hook the arm over or hold onto the knee with your hand. Taking deep breaths and making an internal connection between your breath and your belly. Come out of the twist and then come onto your back. You'll need your rolled up blanket or cushion for this next pose. Lie on your back and set up for bridge with the cushion or the blanket in between the thighs. Feet parallel, arms on the floor. We'll be doing some half bridge lifts and I want you to pay attention to the hips and the belly, bringing some movement there. Inhale, embrace your feet against the floor. Feel the leg muscles switch on. Exhale, curl the tailbone up. Lift the hips a little and squeeze your inner thighs onto your prop. Inhale and let the hips come back down to the floor. Exhale, squeeze the prop, lift the hips. Gather the belly in. Inhale, coming back down to the floor. Do another four like that. If at any point your belly starts to gurgle, know that that's a good thing. Pause after that round and remove your prop. Elbow to knee abs. Clasp your hands together behind the back of your head and lift both feet up off the floor. Inhale, lift head and shoulders up off the floor. Hold the breath, press the lower back down. Exhale, point both elbows towards your left knee. Straighten the right leg out at about 45 degrees to the floor. Pull the belly down. Inhale, bend the knee, bring the elbows to the middle. Hold the breath, press the lower back down. Exhale, both elbows go right, left leg straightens out at about 45 degrees to the floor, pull the belly down. Inhale, bend the knee, bring the elbows to the middle. Hold the breath, press the lower back down. Exhale, both elbows to the left, right leg straightens out. Spread out the toes on the right foot and pull the lower belly down. Inhale, bend the knee, bring the elbows to the middle. Head and shoulders stay up off the floor with this. Hold the breath, press the lower back down. Exhale, elbows go right, left leg straightens out. Spread the toes out on the left leg, pull the belly down. Inhale, bend the knee, bring the elbows to the middle. Hold the breath, press lower back down. Exhale, point both elbows towards the left knee, including the left elbow, bring it in a bit and straighten the right leg. Pull your lower belly down. Inhale, bend the right knee, bring the elbows to the center. Hold the breath, press lower back down. Exhale, both elbows go right, left leg extends. Pull the lower belly down. Inhale to the middle. Do one more round on your own, once more to either side. Once you're done with that, bring the head to the floor and then bring each foot to the floor. Lying down, windscreen wiper twist. Stretch your arms out to the side so they're in a T shape. Stretch the arms out to the side so they're perpendicular to your body. Keep the feet on the floor and slowly ease your knees from side to side. 
As you do this, breathe deeply and notice your belly. Bringing this simple twisting movement to your middle. Sending some love to your belly with your breath. Like let your internal organs know that you love them and you appreciate them. Whatever it is they're processing right now. Next time your legs go to the left, roll entirely onto your left hand side and from your side sit up and then stand up. Horse stance with Agni Sara or belly flapping as I often call it. Facing towards one of the long sides of your mat, step your feet out, out to the side like three or four feet apart and toes, turn the toes out a little bit. Bend your knees and settle your hips down. Then you'll be working, working both this Uddiyana movement that we did at the start, pulling the belly in, but also working relaxing the belly so that the belly is flowing in and out. We'll do this with a particular breath pattern. Have the hands pressed in, in on the thighs. Inhale and let the belly relax out. Then breathe out fast through your mouth. Then hold your breath, and as you're holding the breath, you're going to pull the belly in and relax it. Pull in, relax it. Do that like three or four times. Good. Then you'll need to take a massive breath in. Let the belly soften out as you do that. Exhale fast through your mouth. Hold the breath. Pull in, relax. Getting your belly to move, even if it's just a little bit. Take a big breath in, let the belly soften out. Exhale all the air out, <sighs> hold on empty, and then slowly move your belly. Inhale, letting the belly expand. Exhale everything out. Hold the breath. Great. Now heel toe your feet into the center. Turn towards one of the short sides of your mat. Step your left foot forward and your right foot back for a standing balancing lunge with some arm movements at the same time. So take your arms out to the side like, like your Popeye. Have your left knee bent and have your right knee bent. Inhale, straighten both legs and straighten your arms. Exhale, bend both legs and bend your arms. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Do two more like that. Now relax your arms. Step towards the front of your mat. And let's do the other side. So step the other leg back, balancing on the back toes, and start with both knees bent. Then take your arms out to the side. Inhale, straighten the legs, straighten the arms. Exhale, bend the legs, bend the arms. Inhale, straightening. Exhaling and bending. Do two more rounds. Then relax your arms and step towards the short end of your mat. Turn 90 degrees back towards the long side of your mat now and set up in warrior two where the left toes turned out. For this, you'll need the legs quite wide apart. So what, yeah, wider, wider than the previous thing. 
Let's do warrior two with some flowing movements. Inhale, stretch the arms out to the side. Exhale, come into extended warrior. Left forearm on thigh, right arm up in the air. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale into reverse warrior. So your right hand's coming down, left hand coming up into a side bend. Inhale, back to the middle. Exhale, extended warrior. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, reverse warrior. One more each way, feeling your middle as it moves. Then bring both arms down and switch the legs around the other way. So turn your right toes out 90 degrees, bring the left toes in a little and bend the right knee. Inhale, arms reach out into warrior two. Exhale, extended warrior. Right forearm on the thigh, left arm up in the air. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Your left hand's on the leg, right hand is up in a side bend. Keep the, keep the bent knee bent as you do this. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, extended warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. One more either side. After that, bring both arms down, turn both feet forward, and then heel toe the feet in. Let's do a forward bend before we come down onto the mat. So have your feet about mat width apart. So a little, little bit wider than hip width and interlace your hands together behind you. Inhale, slightly soften your knees, lift the chest up. Exhale, fold forwards into a forward bend. Let your head relax forward. And if it feels good to lift the hands away from the back of the hips, then do that. Feel if you can still reach your belly with your breath. Release your hands, stand up, and then make your way down onto your back for a lying down twist with both knees bent. So from your back, bring both knees in towards the chest and then take both knees over to your left. Now stretch your left hand out past the ear and rest your right hand on the side of the ribs. If your head feels awkward here, put your blanket underneath your head. Keep breathing in a way that brings life and love to your belly, to your middle. Let's do the other side. Bring your arms lower down. Lift one knee to the middle and then the other knee to the middle. And then take both knees over to the right hand side, stretching the left hand out past the head, right hand on the side of the ribs. Bring your arms lower down, take one knee to the middle and then the other knee to the middle. And then you set yourself up for a minute or two of rest. If it feels good to have something supporting the head, you could put a blanket or cushion underneath the head. 
and then rest both hands over like where your stomach is, which is kind of on the left hand side, higher up on the abdomen. Take a huge breath into that area, feeling how the hands rise. Exhale, soften and relax that area. Inhale and send love to your stomach. Exhale, relaxing around that area. Now take both hands over to the right. So your liver is actually massive and it's kind of on the right hand side. Again, upper abdomen, um, maybe there's some of it at the front, some of it at the back, probably crossing, crossing over a little bit to the left hand side as well. So I've got one hand on the, on the right front of the ribs, one hand I've, I've just put behind the, the right back ribs. Inhale, sending love to that area. Exhaling, relaxing that area. Inhale, sending love to your liver. Exhale, relaxing that area. Now, if you can, have both, both hands just behind the back, um, the lower part, lower back part of the rib cage. Your kidneys will be somewhere around there. They're probably half in, half out of the rib cage. So inhale now, send your breath to the lower back ribs and kidneys. Exhale, relaxing that area. Inhale, sending love to your kidneys. Exhale, relaxing that area. Now take your hands onto the rest of the belly, like the middle part of the abdomen, the lower part of the abdomen, just resting your hands over as much of that area as you can. Sending some love now to your intestines, both the large intestine and the small intestines. So inhale, sending love into your guts. Exhale, relaxing that area. Inhale, sending love to all those tubes inside of you. Exhale, letting that area relax. And then we'll rest for a moment or two in stillness. So if there's anything you need to change about your position, do that now. Either resting with the knees bent or the legs straight. Continue to practice breathing in a way that feels loving towards your middle, your belly, your internal organs.
Wiggle your fingers and toes. And then bend your knees. Shift your hips from side to side. And then roll onto one side and sit up. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and for sending some love to your middle. Uh, if you'd like to do more stuff with me, make sure you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. channel. You click subscribe and then click the bell icon uh, and it should let you know whenever I do new videos. I also do lots of stuff that's not in the public domain as well. I have a whole virtual yoga vault uh, with more videos, some of them harder videos um, and more specialist videos. I also teach weekly Zoom classes uh, and I also um, run yoga teacher trainings as well. So if any of that is of interest to you, I'll put some links to that in the description below. And if you want a bit more yoga right now, uh, there's a long video you could click on up here or a short video you could click on up here. Uh, so do that if you feel like you need a longer session. Thank you for joining me.